Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you a new farm RPG style game which is very similar to Stardew Valley but this is a new game this could possibly be the new Stardew Valley. It is very similar. This game is called Fantasy Farming Orange Season. You can purchase this on the Steam store. It is early access right now. I purchased it on the summer sale. It looks really good. It's got Stardew Valley written all over it. So I thought why not make a video and let's give it a little try out. Just a little gameplay kind of video. A first look impression and let's see if this game is any good. And if you guys end up liking this video, you like the looks of this game, then hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of this game and we'll turn it into a playthrough series or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game. As you can see, you can customise your character. We're just going to go like that and we're not actually going to start. this. Obviously this game has got a storyline to it, but we are going to quick start this. We're going to skip everything um, because if you guys want to see a playthrough and then we'll do it all properly. But we're just going to get it straight into the gameplay and uh, have a look, see how it plays. So as you can see, we are here on the farm. We have been given a new task, Benjamin. He has gave us our first farming tools and he wants five turnips in return. As you can see, the top right, you see this little box. If you use your mouse scroll, you can skip through your tools. We start off with a watering can and a hoe. We don't have our axe or our pickaxe or the scythe as of yet like we do on Stardew Valley. And the top left, you can see obviously your health. So we've got five hearts. It is 12.28, I'm guessing in the afternoon, and it is Sunday the 1st of spring. And also you can see your inventory bar at the bottom, just like Stardew Valley. We can see the turnip seeds that we have got. So we need to get planting these. As you can see, the graphics are a little bit different to Stardew Valley. This is more fantasy just as it says in the title obviously we've got a lot of weed and stone debris on the farm which we do need to clear but we haven't got those kind of tools yet so we are going to plant these turnip seeds just like he wants we have got 12 so you just use your ma right mouse button and you can use your tool you can do a lot in this game you can fish I think you can fight enemies you can obviously farm you can have animals you can do exactly the same as what you can do in Stardew Valley. So now we are planting the turnip seeds. Obviously I've replaced the parsnips as uh, they are in Stardew Valley. So now I need to water these. Now we can actually go by this little pond here. You can see the fish swimming around. When you fish on this game you actually need to use your line and try and guide it towards the fish that you can see which I think is a really good feature. Um, as you can see there is a number underneath the watering can. It says 10. That's how many tiles we can water. Uh, we can fill that up and it fills it to the max capacity which is 25 right now. I'm guessing we can upgrade our tools as well. And like I said, this game is in early access, so there's going to be a few problems. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit skippy sometimes, but also there's going to be a lot of improvements throughout the, the months. So this is our house. As you can see, we've got the telly. It'll tell you the weather tomorrow, which you see there, it's going to be a sunny day. We've got a bed, we can actually go to sleep and save it and stuff like that. Can't access that, I'm guessing that's the bathroom. Oh, we've got someone to come and pay us a visit. His name is Raphael. Hello Game Shark. Greetings. So we are actually talking back to the people, whereas in Stardew Valley it's basically it's just the NPCs talking to you, but we actually can talk back as you can see. That is our response. So the story is a little bit different in this game as well. You do not get your grandpa's farm. This is all to do with something else. It's got a brand new story. Like I said, if you guys want to see this and you want to see the story, let me know and we'll do a full playthrough of this and we'll get into the actual story of this. But for now, I'm just going to show you a little bit of gameplay. It's, we can actually move buildings ourselves. We can just go up to a, like this barn here. You can double click the action button and then you can move it and place it wherever you like. With a good fenced area, your animals will be completely safe. And we can actually buy animals from Abigail's farm. So we've actually got a character in this game called Abigail, which is uh, pretty awesome. I'm not sure if we can marry on this. That's one thing I'm not too sure. So I think these are gates. Are these gates? Okay, so we can actually put those down and we can walk through those. Very nice. So now that has fenced off the area completely. So now let's see if we can move these. There we go. Double click. And you can actually move buildings around yourself, which is pretty neat. So... This is our barn, I'm guessing this is where we can have your cows, pigs and sheep. Very nice, big area, looks awesome, love the detail in there. And I'm guessing this is a chicken coop. So already, we've already got the actual buildings, we don't need to go and purchase these, which is pretty crazy. Now I've just noticed the hearts at the top, this is not health, this is actually stamina. So depending on how much work you can do, that is our stamina. So maybe you can't fight monsters in this game, I'm not too sure. Okay, so what are those turnips maybe we can um, what we'll do is we'll take a little trip around town I'm guessing let's see what 
see what this map's like. Oh wow, okay. So you can see this NPCs here too, we've got to go and meet everyone. So we've got a house here, who lives here? So this is Raphael, I, I think this is the carpenter. So obviously we can buy bricks, branches, wooden sticks, planks. And also he's got buildings as well, barns and coops, so if you want more. So this is the carpenter, so if we do want more barns and coops, uh, you can purchase them from this building right here. So we can buy fences as well. I don't know why I just bought one of those by accident. So that is the carpenter's shop. I'm guessing if we click on the sign, it'll tell you. Yeah, there we go. He's in from 12.30 to 9 o'clock. So this is the clinic. This is our doctor or nurse. I don't know if that's a man or a woman. But if we have a feeling a little bit poorly or something, um, obviously this is the clinic. So it's nice to know. Didn't your mama teach you to not talk to strangers? Okay. Well, you just got told. My name is... Oh, God, she's got some attitude. Her name is Philomena? Philomena. Fee, for sure. It's nice to meet you, too. You should definitely buy a horse first thing. Horses are beautiful and awesome, and riding them is super convenient. So we can get horses in this with the looks of that. Very nice. So she lives in the clinic as well. I've just seen her go there. So who is this guy? I'm guessing is this the... So he's no one convenient. He's just some person. Okay, so it's half past six at night. It's getting a little late. There is a nighttime cycle in this game. So it will get dark. Oh, are these some... Are these forageable? Oh, no, these are actually somebody else's crops. So we've got a lot of crops on the farm there, whoever that is. Okay, so this is the blacksmith's house. We can actually upgrade our tools. They just need the materials and the money, just like Stardew Valley. Well, actually, this isn't the blacksmith's house. This is the library. But uh, obviously, this person here, Victor, he is the actual blacksmith. So this map's kind of big. There's a, a lot to explore. Obviously, late. it's late right now, so we can't really talk to... Anybody or enter buildings? Oh, this guy looks interesting. So this is Benjamin, the person who gave us the task of growing the turnips. We will get onto that task very shortly. So Benjamin's farm is on the left. The beach is just down here. The library is just where we was. And Be uh, Abigail's farm, which is the animals, is to the right. So that's very nice. So this is the beach. So this game has got a beach as well. Oh, and as you can see, look at the fish. And we've actually got some clams. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing we can sell these shells. Oh, look at the size of that fish. There's some big ones in there, guys. We really need a fishing rod. That'll be awesome. This is Elliot's cabin. <laughs> secret members, secret family house. Oh, wow. So we've got three seashells and a clam. The beach isn't very big. Can we go to the right? Oh, yes, we can. Okay, it's bigger than a fort. Oh, no, we don't want to place that. Thank you. Oh, nice. So that is the beach. I'm guessing if we've got an axe, we can chop down those palm trees for a little bit of wood. So this is Abigail's farm. So this is if you want to buy animals, then you come and purchase them right here. So we can buy cows, chickens, and goats. I can't see sheep or pig. I don't know if that's going to be implemented later on in the game, or if it's actually already in, but we can for now only get goats, cows, and chickens. Um, so okay, that's, uh, that's interesting. And if you want to buy animal feed, we can only get cow or chicken feed, no goat feed. Very strange. So this is Abigail. I'm not sure if you can marry in this. Um, I'm guessing we can bring up the social. If you click on friends, you can see this is all the people that we've met. There is some stars here. It seem to only go up to five. Five stars. I'm not sure if you get to five stars, can you marry them or anything like that. I am not too sure. Like I said, this is a new game. You can actually enter your rucksack in your inventory. Or you can click on your tasks and your tools. Also, you can see your animals. You can actually just click go home. It's like, like a teleport thing, I'm not too sure. Okay, so there is a dog here. We won't let me pick him up. Okay, so just to the right of Abigail's farm, we've actually got a little bridge. We've just collected some cherries, I believe. Yeah, cherry bush. Can we get orange from the orange trees? No. We've actually got a flower here as well. I'm guessing we can pick up. Nice. So we're doing a little bit of foraging. And this is like a big lake. There must be different kinds of fish in there. This game looks very nice, guys. We can't actually cross the bridge, I don't think, because that log is in the way. So we really need an axe to get over there. It looks like there's a big area. We can go up from here though. Some more plants. Oh, what's that? Is that a turtle? Turtle, nice. Oh, there's some big fish up here as well. So we can actually go further up. This is uh, quite a big map. Wow, okay. So there's more, there's more ponds around this top of the map. And we can't actually get through without breaking those uh, pieces of wood as well, which there's quite a lot of forage items up there, some flowers and stuff. So um, we need to really get some tools. I'm guessing that's from the blacksmith's house. It's 11 p.m. I'm guessing you can pass out in this game, so maybe I should go to sleep. Oh, is this the restaurant? Okay, so it's like the the saloon kind of thing. We can maybe have some drinks and food. 
get your energy back up. So I've took a trip around town, done some foraging. We can actually sell some of these things, so let's um, chuck them in the bin and see how much money we can get for today. I'm not sure where the shop is to purchase more seeds. Okay, you have to click. Okay, you can right click to send them all, or just single click with the left click. So we have put all those in. It says at the bottom left here we can get 130 gold for that, I'm guessing. And we've currently got 17 gold on us right now. Yes, we will go to sleep. Spring 1, Year 1. So there we go guys, we've played through the first of spring. I'm actually going to end this video right here because um, I just want to give you a sneak peek of the gameplay. We're not really going to play for a playthrough. But if you guys want to see more of this game, you like the looks of it, and you'd love to see me do a brand new playthrough on this game alongside Stardew Valley, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this game. Is this game better than Stardew Valley? Does it look better than Stardew Valley? And it is in early access, like I said, so there's going to be a lot of new updates for this game coming out in the future. Maybe even multiplayer. I love games like this, farming RPG games, they're all amazing. And I'm very impressed with this game. There's a few things that I would change, but it is an early access game, so I'm not going to criticise it too much. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe to see more content from myself, Game Shark. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.